Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Olivia Lauren's A Guide to the Things We Wear by Olivia Lauren and Dr. Melissa Sue John, illustrated by Simone and Ace Clark and Zachary Michael Clark. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the authors for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links for me to find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dedication to our multicultural friends living around the world. Hello friend, it's me, Olivia Lauren. I am at a fashion show. I get to model on the runway. My friends and I have a great idea. Let's explore the things we wear. There are many names for the things we wear. They can be called attire, apparel, clothing, garment, gear, outfits, wear, or wardrobe. The things we wear serve a purpose. We wear things for expression, protection, or tradition. We wear things over our clothes to protect us from the cold, wind, rain, or snow. Adam wears a puffer coat. Indira wears a parka coat. Taj wears a fox fur coat. Xavier wears a pea coat. When it rains, we wear waterproof things such as rain boots, rain ponchos, and rain boots to prevent clothes from getting soaked. Kayla loves the rain. Taj notices that Harriet does not. We wear fitted and stretchy clothes to exercise and play sports. Sean, Xavier, and Rosa enjoy being active. When it is hot, we wear loose and light things. T-shirts, jumpers, and sneakers are my favorite things to wear in the summer. Harriet loves dresses and sandals. Rosa prefers tank tops, capris, and flip-flops. When we go to the beach to cool off, we wear non-absorbent things called swimwear. We wear things for safety. Kayla, Yasmin, and Sabita wear life jackets when traveling by boat. Harriet and Taj use goggles in the lab. Sabita wears gloves for beach cleanup. Nelson wears a reflective vest to be seen in the dark. We wear things under our clothes like undershirts, camisoles, and underwear to protect our skin and prevent body odor. We wear accessories such as ties, necklaces, bracelets, and rings for fashion. Watches tell the time. Boots protect our feet. Hats and sunglasses protect us from the sun. Belts and suspenders keep our pants on our waists. Some children wear uniforms to identify the school to which they belong. Uniforms help to create a sense of unity and prevent being bullied for dressing different. When we finish our studies at school, we wear a graduation gown to the ceremony. Some adults wear professional things to identify their occupation. We wear pajamas to bed 
Some are thinner for the summer. Others are thicker to keep us warm in the winter. Some people wear things to honor their faith and identify with their religion. We wear traditional things to show our cultural pride. Barak wears things that identify him as Jewish. Sabita wears things that identify her as Native American. Engaged couples wear formal things on their wedding day. Brides wear bridal gowns or traditional dresses. Grooms wear suits or traditional men's wear. We also wear special clothing to show national pride. Vera's parents are from China. They wear their traditional Chinese Han Fu. Vera often wears a t-shirt and jeans. Indira's family is from India. Her mom wears a sari or a lingha choli. Indira enjoys dressing like her mom. She says it makes her feel like a princess. Her dad wears a banhala on special occasions. Nelson's family is from the Yoruba people of Nigeria. They wear brightly colored clothing called the shiki. His mom wears a headscarf called a gel. His dad wears a hat called a kufi. Adam's heritage is Irish and Scottish. His mother wears the lina under an open sleeved dress. His father wears the lina under a tweeted jacket with pants or a skirt called a kilt. Xavier's parents are from Japan. His parents wear Japanese kimonos. Xavier wears his sports gear every chance he gets. Yasmin's family is from Pakistan. Mom wears a traditional dress and dad wears a salwar kameez, a long tunic worn over baggy pants. Yasmin wears a shirt and pants with a head covering called a hijab. Abdullah's family is from the United Arab Emirates. His mother wears a long black robe called an abaya with a hijab. His dad wears a long white tunic called a thwab and a headscarf known as a kefiyah. Abdullah dresses just like his dad. You do not have to be a model on the runway or travel the world to learn about the different things we wear. You can learn at your school, in your community, and from books like this. Did you have fun exploring the different things we wear? What is your favorite thing to wear? What do you wear in the summer? What do you wear for safety? What do you wear that is not mentioned in this book? The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Biographies Olivia Lauren, born in Farmington, Connecticut, is a nine-year-old girl who enjoys writing stories and drawing. When she isn't writing stories, she is acting or modeling on the runway. Learn more on Instagram at Olivia Lauren J. Melissa Sue John is a Jamaican-born psychology professor mother of two girls, wife, 
author and publisher of children's literature. Her goal is to create diverse, educational and fun children's literature co-authored with child authors and illustrated by youth illustrators. Follow at Lauren Simone Pubs. Simone Anais Clark is curious, optimistic, and creative teen. She is passionate about sharing stories with others through her art. She also enjoys writing stories, acting, and singing. Zachary Michael Clark loves animated movies, writing stories, and creating graphic novels. He is excited to learn more about animation. He also enjoys learning how to cook gluten-free foods. Read more Olivia Lauren books. Available at Amazon.com and BN.com.